Once you have created a series of generative design outcomes for your model, and you've identified an outcome that interests you, you may want to run a simulation analysis to verify that the model meets the design specifications. In this video, we will show you how to create a static stress study of the generatively designed model with all the design requirements set up automatically and save it as an SDZ file that can be opened in ANSYS Mechanical. If you don't have ANSYS Mechanical 2020 R1 or later installed on your computer, you can send the SDZ file to a colleague who does. Let's go back a few steps in this workflow to review the generative design setup. In this example, we're designing a motorcycle triple clamp. We expect the triple clamp to experience torsion, tension, and compression about each of these forks, constrained by the inside faces of this spacer preserved geometry, and we've assigned appropriate magnitudes for each of those loads. We've also assigned materials to use for each of the different manufacturing methods that we're interested in using. To create an SDZ file, of a static stress study for import into ANSYS Mechanical for simulation, select the outcome of interest to open it in the 3D view. This outcome view is where we can create the new design. Create a new design from outcome, creates a model from the outcome and opens it in the design workspace. This action costs a few cloud credits. To access the static stress analysis setup, we need to switch to the simulation workspace. Fusion 360 recognizes models created by generative design and prompts you to create a static stress study. Notice that all the design requirements that were set up in the generative design workspace, the materials, loads, and constraints are included automatically in the status stress study setup. There is a button here to send the static stress study to ANSYS Mechanical for analysis. This button is only visible in the simulation workspace and only when the model was created by generative design. Only models that were exported from the generative design workspace can be sent to ANSYS Mechanical for analysis. If you don't have ANSYS Mechanical on your computer, clicking this button walks you through the process of creating an SDZ file giving you the opportunity to change the name and to select where you want to save it in your Fusion 360 project and on your computer. If you save your file to your project and your colleague has Fusion 360 or Fusion Team installed on their computer, you can invite them to your project where they can access the SDZ file. Click on this link if they don't have either Fusion 360 or Fusion Team installed to open Fusion Team, where you can send them a link to the file. When your colleague receives the file, to import it into ANSYS Mechanical 2020 R1 or later, they open the ACT Start page. Enable the External Study Importer in the Extensions Manager, and then follow the wizard to open the SDZ file. Select External Study to run the wizard. Select Fusion 360 Simulation as the study type and browse to the location where the SDZ file is saved. Then click Import to run the conversion. When the file opens in ANSYS Mechanical, the same studies that were automatically set up in Fusion 360 based on the generative design setup are set up in ANSYS Mechanical automatically, ready for analysis. With the results you receive back from ANSYS Mechanical, you can now decide whether to tweak your design in Fusion 360 or set up a new generative design study with different design requirements, or even proceed to the Fusion 360 manufacturing workspace to simulate the manufacturing process.